In an era when our digital footprints stretch further than ever, a shadow looms over TikTok, one of the world's most beloved social media platforms. Following a classified briefing, senators sounded the alarm over the app's potential threat to national security and personal privacy, shocked by the degree to which TikTok can spy on its users. Cloaked in the guise of entertainment, the platform is accused of offering a backdoor to the Chinese government, enabling unprecedented surveillance and data harvesting from millions of American users. Serious concerns have emerged from senators who received a confidential briefing, revealing China's government could exploit TikTok to spy on American users and disseminate propaganda. Speaking to Axios, they disclosed TikTok's alarming capabilities, accessing personal data, microphone surveillance, keystroke tracking, and even monitoring activities on other apps. These revelations raise profound questions about privacy and autonomy in the digital age. But these concerns over privacy and espionage are far from hypothetical. TikTok has previously admitted to using its app to spy on reporters in a bid to uncover their sources. ByteDance employees access data to track journalists' physical movements, targeting individuals such as former BuzzFeed reporter Emily Baker White and Financial Times reporter Christina Criddle, among others. Despite their efforts, the operation failed, but it resulted in the firing of four staff members and the resignation of high level officials within ByteDance. This incident underscores the lengths to which TikTok is willing to go jeopardizing not only user privacy, but also press freedom. Another particularly troubling practice that came to light, one that starkly illustrates the platform's invasive handling of user data, was a list of LGBT users. According to the Wall Street Journal, while the app did not ask users to disclose their sexual orientation, it created a list based on users who watched LGBT content, along with ID numbers that could be accessed by employees. This led to concerns being raised by TikTok staff in the West, who feared the data could be used for blackmail. In response to these multifaceted security risks, Congress is deliberating a bill forcing ByteDance to sell or face a US ban of the app. Ironically, TikTok is already banned in China, but progress in the US has been slow. Senators across party lines are speaking out. Senator Richard Blumenthal described the briefing as extremely impactful, while Senator Eric Schmidt said, their ability to track, their ability to spy is shocking. However, despite these warnings, progress on the bill remains sluggish. Legislative processes take time, and although a bill passed in the House with overwhelming support, the Senate faces a delicate balance of national security concerns and individual freedoms. As the debate rages on, the potential for a TikTok ban within the US draws closer, underscored by legislative, legal and ethical complexities. The saga of TikTok's operations, ranging from surveillance concerns to questionable internal practices, presents a pivotal moment in our digital era, challenging us to reconsider the boundaries of technology, privacy and security.